Hi Cantors, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Four of cups, okay. So, um, hmm. Whatever was going on for them, okay. This is, for me, this is like focusing on third party things. It could be a person, it could be, you know, a thing like a job, an addiction, just something that they were kind of prioritizing over your connection, you know, not not taking your golden cup of love, you know. So rest assured they are not happy and fulfilled. You know, but I just kind of feel at the time there, were, there was a burden on your person, like, almost like they were discontent with themselves. So it, it, it's almost like they couldn't take your love, you know, because they didn't like themselves very much, I'm getting. I feel like this person is really prone to self-sabotaging, uh, but also has quite a a low view of themselves, okay? Yeah. Eight of Swords. What have we got here so far? We've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, <clears throat> um, Leo, Leo? Libra, sorry. Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Mm -hmm. They got all up in their own head here. Um, freak themselves out. As I said, I feel they are someone who's really prone to self-sabotage. They get all up in their head um, about your connection. So it's like any time the two of you are getting really, really close, you know, this this love offer, you know, between the two of you, it's just, it's like you're almost kind of there. You're almost getting in this stable commitment. They freak themselves out and they self-sabotage. The self-doubts start to come in. I feel this is a person who's really anxious they may not show that you know but like inside if any anxious may suffer from panic attacks and uh, they just get in their their own way a lot in their own head so they started to get the fear the doubts and it's not even like fear or doubts about you it is fear or doubts about themselves because remember how i was saying like they're discontent with themselves so <sighs> It's almost like this person keeps you at bay, keeps you, keeps you at a distance because they don't want you to truly see their, their real self. It's like they kind of only let you get so close because I, there's some fear here of like you and you probably do know the real them, but they just think deep down, I'm not a good person, you know. If they get too close, um, they're going to find that out, you know. They're not going to like me, they're not going to want me. So they so they put this own spanner in the works. <sighs> yeah, the Eight of Swords as well, I get a lot like being a prisoner of your past as well. So they could have had some really toxic relationships just just ones that have ended really really badly um and they're almost frightened of that happening with you so it's like if i just don't get too close all right you know that history can't kind of repeat itself <coughs> see four of wands you were getting so close to that union, as I said, like that really close connection, really stable commitment. Okay, it frightens the bejesus out of this person. Twin flame, 11, 11 energy. You know, they know fine well you are their person and you're their true counterpart. Um, and the thing is, the magician is, is, about manifesting um but it, i'm i'm almost feeling like trickery 
from this and um, it's about communication as well, the magician. It's like sabot literally sabotaging the communication between the two of you. This is what this person did. Because you're getting close to this four of wands here and it's like, oh, this is so intense, you know. And, and I just keep getting this message about them like thinking you're going to find out something about them that you didn't know. Or, you know, it's... They let you in so far, but because they are so down on themselves, because they have such a low opinion of themselves, it is just like, if they let this go too far, you'll find out, I just keep getting like the truth about it, you know? I just, I, it's, I feel like a lot of that's in their head. Um, and so, They don't want, obviously, the rejection that may come with that. So what do they do? They, they manifest this um, destruction here. It's almost like, what's that phrase? Um, like a self-fulfilling prophecy. This is Gemini, Mercury energy as well. You may even find this person coming back during this, this Mercury retrograde. Um, what was I going to say there? Um, but yeah, it's like, I've got to mess this up, you know? Life imitating art. Getting that kind of trickery, that sleight of hand, you know, don't don't notice the feelings I have for you. So they could have come off like very distant, um, cold, detached from you. I don't know why I'm seeing like the King of Swords here. It's that type of energy. It doesn't have to be like an air sign, but it's hiding, hiding things. Okay, hiding the truth from you, hiding the truth from their selves, hiding that kind of, um, like not being authentic with their soul. <clears throat> this could even be someone who is in the public eye in some kind of way, has an audience. I sort of feel like something has distracted them here. Um, like, I feel like this person needs a lot of validation and attention, but from lots of people. Queen of Cups, one of my Divine Feminine cards, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Now, <laughs> see, what, what they're... What they felt about you is, you know, how nurturing, caring, loyal I'm getting, you know, intuitive, kind, like loving, queen of love here, you are. You know, and it's like they're telling themselves they're, they can't match that, like they're not good enough for that in a way, you know, and... They're, they're denying their own happiness. Because there's something about this person that they believe, they believe deep down that they're not, they're not a good person. I'm getting, I don't believe that's the case. But that's why, what they keep telling themselves over and over, you know, and what, what we think about, we bring about, you know, we manifest it. What are they manifesting? Like losing you, like almost cutting you out here and then being down in the dumps about it. And you being so intuitive and psychic and things, 
I just keep getting this message that they think there is something there's there's just something that you will see in them or find out about them that will cause you to kind of walk away. I do I feel like as soon as they caused this disruption, they regretted it. You know, they were in four of cups energy. Um about not taking you know, look at, look at this giant, giant, like, golden cup of love that you hold here. They didn't take it. And it feels like instant regret to me. It's just like they know you are their true counterpart, and yet they're deceiving themselves against it. They're the ones, like, they get in their own way about this, yeah? They let their thoughts get in between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Six of Swords almost came out there. Two of Pentacles, yeah. Very... I feel like very mentally up and down, this person. Juggling a lot, okay. There's, 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 yeah. It's kind of getting that with the magician, the alchemist. Juggling a lot, okay. Now, as I said, this person, I, I'm not really feeling it's a third party relationship. It could be for some of you if you know about that. I mean, this is general. There's going to be different energies here, but <clears throat> for me, this feels like juggling jobs or something. Like. Oh, look at these crashing waves behind them, like the choppiness. Very like turbulent lifestyle. And it was like they were juggling too much, like overwhelmed, too much on their plate. And I kind of feel like it is financial with the pentacles here. So oh, can't make a decision here. You know, really want to be with you. But then the seeds of doubt come in, the fears, anxiety. The thing is, this person's not... Like, you know the way you talk to yourself really affects you. You know, your body listens to these thoughts. I just feel like your person has been talking to themselves kind of like a piece of shit, guys, for years, this feels like. Okay, so they've got, like, a lot of reprogramming to do, you know? Um, they've got into a lot of kind of bad habits with the way they talk to you, you know. And like I said, every time you get close to this four of wands, that you probably have found. I mean, this may have happened like multiple times, in and out, to and fro. But you'll probably find this sort of ghosting behaviour happens. They just drop off when the two of you are almost. You're you're getting really close. And that's when it kind of comes out of nowhere. It is their fears. It's their core wounds. It's rejection wounds. It's uh, fearing like history will repeat itself. They've had a lot of traumatic past relationships and things. So they're like, how do I, how do I get this to, um, you know, how do I destroy this? Because that will protect me. But the truth is, if they're honest with themselves, you know, they, it's almost like their soul is guiding them to you, you know, if they just listened more. Yeah, so, up and down, in and out, offering you some feeling um an emotion then dipping out and it's almost like a feel you know there's that golden cup again prince cups cancer Pisces, scorpio just was like on the cusp of oh you know offering you this going through with your plans maybe that you've made you know going through with your promises but oh i'm not sure 
you know, and they, they just didn't quite get there with this. They wanted to. The thing is, the feelings are there. Her Prince of Cups is all like romance and love, and I'm gonna move this around a wee bit. Uh, but they just get in their own way and their own head about this, okay? Let me just think if I'm gonna ask something else here. <coughs> It's this person's fears, you know, that cause them to do that, like, ghosting behaviour. It's it's being unhealed and it's being immature, you know, and it's kind of knowing they're not ready for commitment but desperately wanting it. So, you know, don't ever think that you may have caused this in some way or, you know, you're undeserving or anything like that of them. It's, it's them, you know, so... In a way, it's almost good if, how am I trying to explain this? You know, it's like the universe won't let you come together if this person is so unhealed like this. You know what I mean? Let's have a look and just see what their current, what their current kind of energy is in regards to like taking action here at the moment we'll look at the extent of like what their kind of full intentions are but i mean like right now what's her what's their feeling towards this connection okay so they're pondering this okay still full of passion for you king of wands leo 80 sagittarius it's almost like looking over at you and the desire is still so strong okay King of Cups normally is, well, King of Cups is interesting, I mean King of Wands is normally someone, they're confident, you know, they, they, they get up and go for what they want, but I just kind of feel this person sitting, thinking about what they want right now, you know, all the passion they still have for you, but let's see what else we get. The thing is, I'm sort of feeling like sitting, not doing anything, but like wanting the Ten of Cups of you, for goodness sake. They know, you know, they look to you. She almost looks like the Queen of Cups here again in this blue. You know, you looking over and knowing that you're their true happiness and that they could have everything that they've ever desired you know and I feel like this person is quite traditional does want like a family if that's applicable to you and, and marriage and you know does want all that does want the happily ever after it's like they're sort of dreaming of this but I'm still kind of getting the feeling of them just sitting doing nothing okay and a lot of that is to do with their their mental state um you know, if you kind of feel overwhelmed and you've got lots to do and you end up doing nothing, okay, that's what this person's sort of doing. They're sort of dwelling on everything at the moment. They know what they want. You know, so that sound of swords here. Um, yeah. You know, desperately, eight of wands underneath that, desperately wanting to communicate. But they're still telling themselves something deceptive here, like, you might not want them anymore, they're not good enough, um, there's been too much time, or they've kind of destroyed this too much or something. Um, they're just telling themselves that they can't communicate with you for some reason. Okay, we're going to look at that more in the extended, as I said. Chariot underneath that, you know, wanting to rush in and take action. Like, I do feel, I mean, this person wants triumph with you. They want to triumph over their own demons and they want success with you, you know. Uh, so, like, the chariot's here. As I said, look at this in the extended, right? This person's got a lot of, like... Um, 
mental things to overcome, um, self-doubts, the way they, it's, a lot of this is the way they view themselves, okay? And there's someone who's really, really emotionally closed off, but you're not like that, but they are. And so they'll just put these swords up, they'll put this kind of prison around their heart. They're, their kind of coping mechanism is just, well, I'm going to cease communication. I can't get hurt if I do that. You know, they're, they're very, it's extreme. It's like, they could be all in one day, just drawn to this two of pentacles again, and then all out. The next day, all of a sudden, you're like, what, what's happened? Like, this was going really well. Like, what the hell? You know? So, yeah, we're going to look at this more into Patreon. What's this chariot energy about? What they're thinking and feeling about you now in depth. And I'm going to get some messages from them to you. You know, if they could say anything to you right now. Okay, um, look at this. Patreon.com forward slash screen dad. So, if this has resonated for you so far, join me over there, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and put your notification bells on if you haven't. But thanks so much for watching thus far. And I hope this resonated for you. This is a